Good day. Let us discuss the third content of our learning uh, course titled Conduct Management. So this is one of the most important content in our subject because it is not only uh, targeting the conduct of our learners but also how we deal with them no, professionally. As we have said, uh, we can consult uh, principles of teaching and teaching profession there are two, at least two uh, attributes of a teacher. One is a personal and the other one is the uh, professional. No? Sa personal, uh, ito yung personality natin, yung beta natin, no? how we deal with our students. While yung professional, uh, based on the laws, uh, trained tayo sa ating university and then yung compliance natin sa existing laws no? on how to act ethically no? with a code of ethics, and other existing provisions. So it can actually make or break our profession. No? And we should, uh, sino ba naman ang may gusto na matanggalan ng lisensya or uh, magkaroon ng uh, negative na reputation sa school or even sa society or sa community na kinabibilangan natin. The reason why, masyado natin pinapahalagan ito. No? There are times we are go beyond dun sa limitations natin and as we have said merong thin line between the third teachers and students kapag nasira yun mahirap siya ba, ba, bago pa maibalik no let's proceed with the first part yung management approaches by the end of the discussion uh, we will actually uh, try to demonstrate the knowledge of positive and nonviolent discipline in the management of learner behavior we are we should maximize positive reinforcement. And kung maaari ay hindi natin gamitin yung negative or yung punishment. No? And it will try to answer how can learner behavior be best managed in learning environments. We will be able to dis uh, describe the different approaches in managing learner behavior. We'll be tackling at least seven uh, ways. Determine factors to consider in selecting the approach strategies and technique that are most appropriate to specific uh, airing behavior of our learners. No? So yung content nito ay more on classroom management approaches. Before that, let's proceed with the basic terms and concepts sa third module na ito. No? So when we say behavior, it is the stimulus response from negative or positive stimulus. No? Yung positive or negative behavior ng ating students ay nagtitrigger siya or naga, nakikita natin or nagmamanifest siya base sa natanggap nilang stimulus, no? whether good or bad. And when we say conduct, it is the learner's response and effort to observe class decorum in class. Uh, may respect, uh, nag-engage, sumasagot sa or nagpa-participate sa klase, uh, nire-respeto niya mga kaklase, no? uh, may, meron siyang norms na inobserve sa loob ng klase. And uh, when it comes to discipline, it's a practice of observing rules and norms no? in the learning environment as guided by classroom and school rules in general. So as we notice, bago tayo mag ng klase uh, or school year, or term, we are reading yung uh, classroom uh, policies, no? even the school rules, when the learner observes properly or appropriately existing rules na yon, then siya ay nasa discipline level. No? And uh, pag nagkakaroon ng airing behavior, merong level siya. No? And pumapasok dito yung behavior management, if one tries to maintain uh, learner's positive behavior and eliminates negative behavior. No? So, uh, from the beginning, sa ating topic na uh, learning environment, we're trying to uh, empower our learners to observe appropriate behavior. No? At kung maaari, base sa ating planned uh, structure, ay walang negative behavior. Pero hindi natin siya maiwasan kasi iba ang culture din ng learners especially galing sila sa iba't ibang iba't ibang pinagmumulan no or pinagmulan. Uh, sa kanak management, it's a lighter degree no na merong airing behavior. We can talk 
and remind them to resolve the erring behavior. When it comes to discipline regulation, uh, mabigat na ano, yung uh, uh, beta nila or behavior, emotion, thinking, thoughts, or actions. And it requires uh, disciplinary action no? or punishment. We try not to use punishment, but instead, yeah, disciplinary action to emphasize that it is a healthier way to correct the erring behavior of learners, especially kapag sila'y nakapanakit ng, uh, ng sudyante, nag-disrespect sa authority or teachers, uh, habitual yung uh, erring behavior, o kaya ay na, na-indulge sila or na-involve sila sa uh, related laws na hindi nila sinusunod, like existing ngayon yung anti-bullying, o kaya ay uh, substance abuse. No? So dito ay meron ng intervention not only with the students or learners, but with the presence of parents. No? Sabi natin sa lecture, once na meron tayong i-apply na corrective measure, sa learners natin, lalo na kung sa K-12 siya, we need to call the attention of parents. They need to sign to be to be informed and to agree with what will be the sanctions be given sa ating estudyante. No, huwag natin yung kakalimutan. Isa yun sa pinakamahalaga na uh, way no, para uh, maging healthy din sa side natin at sa students yung magiging actions natin. Kumbaga sa ibang term, Bagamat meron tayong i-impose na sanction, it is out of love no? natin sa student para siya ay maitama. And when we say contingency contract, it's actually uh, a, a, like an anecdotal record which we can trace the progress and improvement of learners. Uh, sa guidance or sa classroom advisor, kalimitan sila yung nag-iingat nitong contingency contract na makikita natin yung development or improvement ni learners from that erring behavior at paano niya na-eliminate siya unti-unti. No? We can also consult that once na merong somehow katulad na behavior na ganoon na encounter tayo or yung kapwa nating co-teacher, maaari natin apply din yung approach na ginawa natin. So it's a behavior change system that offers a way for a teacher or parent to target a learner's behavior, no? and to involve the learners in correcting in his or her own behavior. No? So, maganda siyang process, healthy way siya para makorek yung airing, airing behavior dahil through the efforts of learners, through the guidance of teachers, no? uh, mababago niya unti-unti. No? Kaya nagiging last resort talaga sa school ay yung sent out no? or terminated or kick out. Kasi yun ay nagiging last option kung talaga walang pagbabago. No? Pero bago yung dumating, we, ha- we need to provide or undergo si learner ng contingency contract. No? Kasi it gives hope sa learner to improve yung kanyang erring behavior. Kasi nga sabi natin, ang behavior ay can be learned and can be unlearned. No? When we say talking uh, economy, uh, it's another behavior change system that consists of list of target behaviors to be reinforced, giving incentives, no? gaya ng uh, sinabi ng ating ilang mga learners no? na tokens or points no? na binibigay sa students or learners kapag sila ay uh, may pinaperform na targeted behavior o kaya itong mga may nagawang uh, hindi maganda sa community ay uh, mas uh, nabibigyan sila ng chance na gawin yung tama kasi sila nabibigyan ng reward. No? Pero at, at the end of the day, kailangan natin maproseso na we are not after or always after the price or the tokens kasi iba naman yung magiging effect din ni lear- sa learners noon, no? paglaki niya. 